Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to channel, and today we're going to be taking a peekaboo at the VK9001P. They love these O1s and these Ps, the Germans, uh, they are all across it. Now, the tank is a collectible tank that is in the current Christmas event. Uh, it's otherwise known, the nickname for it is, honey, please don't look at the bank account. I just spent all our mortgage money on a big, buffy German heavy. Um, it cost me hundreds of thousands of gold to gold this thing, but it wasn't my money, it was Wargaming's. Uh, and that's why I've got the, the test account, so I can then drive it and tell you all about it. Uh, the tank is surprisingly just beautifully balanced i think and it's a tank that is actually quite difficult to get everything out of it's reasonable regardless but it does require a very fine little bit of control to succeed on occasion and the reason for that is that it doesn't have any gun depression over the front of the tank it's got gun depression over the side of the tank it's a little bit like a reverse lupus the lupus has 11 degrees of gun depression over the front of the tank as a re-mounted turreted tank this thing you have to go sideways and then poke it over the middle drive wheel which is why it's ideal in a position like this with its 10 degrees of gun depression over the side. Now we're gonna have a look at the armor profile now. I'm gonna walk you through that because the armor profile is very, very important and you need to understand what's going on there to be successful with the vehicle. Now, if all, if all you humans can direct your attention to the top right corner of the screen, you'll see a lovely superimposed image. That is the red-green hit skins of the VK9001P. There is a little bit of a crossover between the O1P and the mouse. It has those weak uh, cheeks either side. The problem with this thing is you can't quite angle it like the mouse when they're firing gold and bounce off the side of your cheeks, uh, your turret, because that's just not enough armor there. And that's good because obviously you don't need two mouses, one of them with a rear-mounted turret to just be a little bit OP. So they're going to have to fire the gold. Load the gold, amigos, as the quickie baby would tell you. And when you do that, you're going to have a great time because uh, they're going to do less damage to you and it's still hard to pin. The turret hatch is a little bit of a weak point um, and the upper glacis is very very strong now this is a t110e5 firing heat at you and this is a crazy angle that you would not see many tier 10 heavies at but look at that it's got 10 degrees of gun depression over the side so if you can find like hills and inclines and slopes where you can let the gun dangle over the edge you can do things like that because you have four degrees of gun depression over the front, which is god awful, and 10 degrees of gun depression over the side, which is bloody amazing for a T10 heavy. Now, you've only got the 12.8 centimetre gun, the uh, the old pack. I believe it's the pack. They've usually mounted them up with the, the pack or the canone. Uh, this is the 12.8 centimetre KWK 44L 61A. Oh, well, now we've cleared that up, but 12.8 centimetres. The DPM is reasonable but not spectacular and you're going to be running the calibrated shells on it regardless because uh it's got ap and apcr now it's this is where we get to the other weird part about the tank which are they, these are why i like these kind of tanks you know i had some idiot telling me on facebook today that i was uh fellating someone from wargaming because i was you know in their pocket or something but I bag plenty of tanks that Wargaming produce. Actually, I, uh, I'm i on record of saying a lot of tanks don't work very well. This is one of the tanks that I really like because it works if you know what you're doing, but doesn't like have just a straight up and down drive them. This is like nothing like the 4502B in its purest form. The 4502B is all about the uh, front plate, offensively side scoping using that rear turret, this is not just that. This has so much more going for it. But I did want to include a game from uh, Himmelsdorf where it's just a, a flat pack and you can see me using the armor profile. Now, where the hell was I before I got carried away? Um, the pen. It's got really good pen on its AP and very average pen on its APCR. Uh, your low DPM, gun depression, American heavies and everything, They've the IS-4s of this world, the T110E5s, the 57 heavies and all that, they can run calibrated shells on heat and get from 340 up to, I think it's 378, um, which is a lot of heat pen. You 
can't really get away with doing that. You are an AP pen that will go high on AP, 275, which is more than the mid twos, 260s that you get on most of the T10 heavies. And then you go low on your premium shells, which means you really want to get good at aiming because it, you know, your, your APCR does 320 and that's just not enough to reliably pen a lot of these tanks. Uh, the E100 particularly was a tank that I struggled with because of the side skirts uh, and the front plate on the E100's turret is when angled, it, it, you can't just go through it with heat like you can with the, uh, say, the T125 or the IS-4 or something, which is torture. Anyone who's played competitive will know that one of the worst things about those tanks is you run into an IS-4 or something in a mouse and they can just go straight through those cheeks really, really easily with all that heat pen. You know, you're getting up towards the 400 millimeter mark. You'll never get there because obviously you don't get the 10% bonus to the HE, which is a big, big thing uh, to the heat. So the DPM is... Actually, it's only 2,600. Now, that's reasonable for a tier 10 gun depression heavy. And this is the key here. You've got to remember that this, this is kind of two tanks in one. It's not just a very good side-scraping, defensive, side-scraping, offensive, side-scraping heavy tank. It's also a very good gun depression heavy tank when in the right position. Now, putting it in that position, though, is not as easy as you would think because you... You really have to do a lot of tinkering and a lot of, I think after playing it for a little while longer, I will have favorite spots for it. There will definitely be positions that are better for this tank than others. You have to get used to keeping that lower glacis hidden, even though you want to drive kind of sideways to get the shots and it feels so unnatural. You can see me here. I wanted to show you this replay because I'm so... I'm screwing around trying to figure out how I'm going to get this shot. Can I get gun depression over the back? And the tank looks good aesthetically. It looks so cool. Uh, I don't, I, I just think the game looks amazing nowadays. If you watch this game back in the day, go and have a look at one of my original videos and then come back and watch this tank again uh, with all the graphics absolutely bells and whistles out through the day. And it looks sensational it looks really really good uh we might get a look at the e100 here if i can zoom in uh and show you what i was talking about with the cheeks this is with apcr you can see it's very hard to pen so obviously anyone who's played the e100 before knows good players will go straight to your turret ring that's where you do the business on the e100 a bad move here too i let him go through to the fosh and the fosh i didn't realize how low the fosh was my bad there foshy uh sorry about that uh, wish, wish, uh, wish I had paid attention to that, but it all, it all came good in the end anyway. Where the hell was I? So good looking tank and two tanks in one covered off that tick, 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 uh, strange pen. Uh, but again, I like that. I like the fact that it's got a gun that really needs to pen with AP to, to be useful. Uh, which means you've got to work on your angles and you've got to use that gun depression. I think that's the reason the tank is like that. They've been very, very cautious with the way it's been balanced. Um, it's got excellent side armor. You can get all kinds of crazy angles, but you've got to be careful and watch out for people going through the weak lower part of your side armor. And thank God that VK7201 just went AFK there and I got to just farm up Z damage. Uh, Speed-wise, look, there's two things I want to talk about with regard to the tank that felt a little bit odd. The speed, I know it's not meant to be super quick, but it, it does feel very cumbersome for a tank um, that looks really cool and fast. Uh, it's interesting too that the VK7201 has such a funny play style. Um, and then this tank has come out and they've they've taken the same game mechanic, a rear mounted turret, and they've taken two tanks that look very similar and yet have completely different um, mechanisms to be successful. The VK obviously needs to like literally bait shots with its with its lower plate and its upper plate. Whereas you don't show your lower plate ever unless you like coming second and you try and stay very, very steeply angled at all times. So it feels a little bit slow for me, even though, you know, 30 kilometers an hour is, it's a fair, for this amount of armor that I guess that's fair, but it just, it just felt slow. I like playing fast and loose, baby. Um, and that, look, 
that leads me to my next point, which is, uh, oh, there's, there's that bloody A100 again. Look at it. Just really tough tank. And I think once people get used to this tank and play against it, I don't know if they're going to. But um, the, the next point, you've got to get that gun depression working. And because of that, I think it's a tank that people are going to get a little bit cranky about when they spend the amount of money required to get it. Look, this is this is, uh, it's such a weird thing to talk about this. I don't agree with crates or I don't agree with any T10 tank being a collectible or a premium tank at T10. I think it's wrong. And I'm on record as saying that that many times. I don't know why these people have a go at me. When I when the 121B came out, when the T22 came out, when the M60 came out, I I always say this. I don't agree with the the idea of having a T10 tank that is payable for gold or, or what you should earn and grind your tier 10 tanks right but with the t22 uncatchable you might have paid a lot of money for that tank but when it was eventually yours it was every inch a worthy tank like you got it and you were like wow this tank is broke af it is really really good i am you know i'm a little bit upset that i i spent the the pay packet on it, but you know what? It's a unique tank that is absolutely gobsmackingly good. I don't think you're going to get that feeling with this, and I think quite a few people will um, who aren't collectors and are, are looking at this tank because all the numbers on it look really nice uh, are going to be a little bit disappointed. But I think that's that's fair enough. Caveat emptor, buyer beware. It's not up to um, you know we're all we're all actual adults with credit cards who are doing this stuff, and if you are. If you are paying for this one and you, you're happy with it, well, good on you. And if that makes you happy, I don't drink. So, I mean, I could absolutely afford to buy one of these every month and still come out ahead on most of my mates who go out and buy $10 schooners down at the local pub or, you know, 15 bucks for a bourbon and Coke. Like, this is, um, this is my, my hobby. This is my fun time. And if... If you're doing that, this tank's great fun. It is a really fun tank to drive because it is really genuinely different and it looks looks the goods. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I uh, hope you're having a good holiday season and uh, glad to be rocking and socking and letting a few tanks out of the bag. It's going to be a T62A review soon. Don't go anywhere. And until next time, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.